Hi guys, in this video I'll cover constants. I'll start out with an example that does not use constants. Then I will introduce constants and explain why they are beneficial. And finally I cover the naming convention for constants. The example I will use is about concert tickets. I prompt the user to input the count for two ticket types, premium tickets and regular tickets. Then the program will calculate the total price and output it back to the console. Since I'm dealing with input, I need a scanner object that reads from system.in. I add the import statement, and now I can prompt the user for premium tickets. Please enter the premium ticket count. And here I add the price, they are $70.50. Next, I read in the ticket count. So I introduce a variable, premium count. I use a scanner to read the next integer. And now I do the same thing for the regular ticket types. Please enter regular ticket count. And these are a little bit cheaper. They cost $50.99. Then I read in the regular count. I use scanner.nextint to get the next integer. And now I can calculate it. So the I have a premium total. This is calculated by the premium count times the price, which is $70.50. And then I do something similar. The regular total is the regular count multiplied by the regular price, which is $50.99. And then I get the overall total, which is the premium total times the regular total. And once I have that, I can output it back to the user. So total price is total. I don't do so much with input, but just to give you a rough idea. Now, again, we have a scanner object. We prompt for premium tickets. Read in the number of premium tickets that the user would like to order, then prompt for regular tickets, read in the number of regular tickets the user would like to order, then we calculate the premium total, so we multiply the premium ticket count times the price, and then we calculate the regular ticket count times the regular ticket price to get the regular total, and finally we add both up, we have the overall total for the price, and we output it. Now this is a program that works fine, everything's good, but we have some issues. One issue is if I would wanna change, well, first, first of all, if I have, we, we can see that I hard coded the prices here. I have it here and I have it here. And if this is a larger program, maybe that value would be used somewhere else as well. Now it's very easy for me to do a typo. For example, I could just have 7.50 here or or somewhere else wherever I use it. So I have to be sure that they, I never have a typo when I use that number. And that can happen fairly quickly. The next thing is, what if next month there's, a, there's this um, concert again, users can order it, but the price goes up. Now in my program, I have to go find the premium ticket price everywhere I coded it and update it. This is very error prone as well. I might forget one value to update it. And, and it's very tedious at the same time. So what, for this type of thing, what we do is we use constants. Constants are, are really just regular variables, except that their value cannot change after initialization. And in Java, we declare a constant with a final keyword followed by the variable declaration. So in this case, I want to have 
um, a floating point variable and I call this premium ticket price. This one is 75.50. And then I create final float regular ticket price, which is 50.99. So now I have two constants. I go over the naming convention in just a bit. But what I can do now is, instead of using the hard-coded value here, I can use my constant value. And same thing for the regular price. Here I use the regular ticket price. And again, in my calculation, I do the same premium ticket price and for the regular calculation also regular ticket price. Now let's run this and see if it works. So let's do three of those and two regular tickets. So we can see we get the output. Is that calculated correctly? This one should be a plus. That was a little bit pricey. They, they would, the user would probably back out with that ticket price. So let's see, this one looks more correct. So we calculate it, we output it. And let's say now that the ticket price changes, we have some discount. So the regular one gets updated to, let's say 25.99 and the premium one to 65.50. Now, if we run this again, I can now output three, I output two, same price, and we get a discount here. And the only thing I really changed is at the very top, change the two prices, and my whole program works fine. I never have the issue that I have a typo. If I ever have a typo, it would be in the constant name, and I get a compile error. So it's really convenient to have constants. Now, the last step, I want to talk about the naming convention. The naming convention is fairly simple. So we, you should already know that regular variables in Java follow the camel case naming convention. The constants follow an uppercase naming convention. And that simply means that every word has uppercase letters. And if there are multiple words, we just add an underscore and then the next word. The, the next word. We can end with a digit, just like regular variables. Um, so that is another option. But in general, all words are always uppercase. If there are multiple words, we separate them with an underscore, as I've done with the two constants up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.